let's not break it now. So guys, welcome back to a new episode of Be The RZ. Let me skip this out a bit. Um, this is um, an unboxing day. And what's in here is for uh, this little chap. And as we all know, this is a slow ass little bitch right here. And we need to get some power into this. That's right. So today, I've got some little bits for us. So let's get it out the way. Scoop. Uh, and we'll get into it. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit more so y'all can see better. So, skip. Yip it up, yip. And then, um, where else? Oh, here. Yip. Skip. Skip. Oh, I'm making, a, making a terrible mess of this. Come on. Come on, man. Yield up. Oh. Oh, what's this? This is unusual packaging. I've never had this before. It's like shredded cardboard. We'll take that. We'll bung that out. And here we have... Oh, that's a lot bigger than what I thought. Hey, hey! Who's going to slap in? That's what she said. Quote right there. But here we go. Look at the size of that. I wasn't expecting... Let's get this out, out straight away. Boom. Now, this is a 50 ampere um, ESC. And she's a bit big. I didn't realise it was this big. Obviously, you've got your uh, water cooling system here instead of uh, a little radiator. But it is a Hobby King ESC for about uh, 50 amps. Yeah, and um, there's the two big caps right there. And that's right. Yeah. Like I said in the thing, we're going to have to go brushless on this one. And again... This is cool. Comes with some little um some banana plugs and whatnot for for the ESC actually because it's already got the the uh, male ends here, so that's cool. Solder them on because they haven't come with these. Solder them on. But yeah, who it's quite a beefy little motor as well. Oh hang on a minute, what's going on here? Oh that's cool. I forgot what they're called, I'll, I'll find out and put it in the description. But yet this literally gets bolted on to the end and this, this actually ro rotates. That's going to be interesting. I'm going to tell you why it's going to be interesting. Because I'll show you Miss Gecko. We'll zoom back out a bit. So we'll get closer. And we'll look into uh, Miss Gecko's uh, parts. Now, when I ordered these guys, I generally believe these were quite small because of the price. And uh, the price I'm going to tell you now for these these two things, brushless, less than 40 quid, I know. But, um, mm, yeah, um, can, you, can you see the problem now, guys? Yeah, it's it's it is actually the same diameter. It is the same diameter of the brush motor, but as you can see, once that's um, situated there, we've got this sticking out here. So, hmm, a bit of fabrication is going to have to go right there. Also, problem two: battery goes yonder, motor goes there. Where the hell am I going to put this? Hmm. And another thing. With me converting this now to um, brushless. This is a combined uh, ESC and receiver. So I would have to remove that. Because I've got this. And pop in a receiver. So um, I suppose that could go there. But this is quite a... Um, issue right now so this could this might have backfired on me guys um so we're gonna have to see what what's gonna happen in it so anyway that's my um unboxing hop ups for this and we'll see where we uh, go with it so i wanted to show you this real quick is this outboard i think the outboard motor this spins and then the shaft underneath here like that's connected to the shaft so i'll plug it in this this can actually take up to 4s this can take up to six so we'll quickly um 
that's the actual this is the actual motor was beeping not this but get on this look oh listen to that noise that sounds so cool Miss Gecko is going to be connecting with aliens. Right, let's see what she does on Forest, though, you know what I mean? Oh, oh! I love the noise that makes. I can't wait to get that in this gecko now. That was on for us. So guys, still continuing to convert it, Miss Gecko to brushless, and I've ran into a few problems. One, this brass little um, little shaft here that connects the air, uh, the sh um, the shaft of the motor to the prop. The um, that diameter was too small for the new brushless version. This isn't actually a, a, a three point, measured a 3.2 with the verniers. Um, I didn't measure this one, but this one was obviously a lot smaller. Um, so I had to do that with that one. It popped it in the lathe, of course. Um, the mounting brackets. Now I thought these, uh, these motors had the same uh, diameter. I don't know if you, the camera can see it there, but um, it may, they may be, I haven't checked, but the, the screw holes are different. As you can see on the ori on the original mount mounting, they're a little bit too far apart, you see. There's a couple of mil out. So what I've done, I've gone and fashioned one myself. Now I haven't tried it yet, but um, I'm hoping it works. So we'll pop this on there. Like Seb, we'll put the mountain brackets and we'll get it in the boat. Also, I'll quickly show you that I've had to I've had to amend Miss Gecko here because the motor sticks out and as you can see the ESC is wedged in there. Um but I'm still fiddling around with that because um, I've still got to connect the water coolant to it to cool a little sausage down. The motor's in. I turn the prop and you'll see that move. Ooh, that's nice, David. Hey guys, back in the shed and as you can see, Miss Gecko has gone in a little bit of plastic surgery. Um, rather than just messing about making a new top, I basically, as you can see, this little round curvature notch, um, I got a lighter underneath it, melted, well not melted, heated up the plastic and then basically pressed that over the motor. So it um, made the clearance for the, for the, obviously the motor because that the outer bit spins. And um, I've put some fiberglass reinforcing here. I've even got um, a bit on where the boy whacked the top off. Oh, lad! Yeah, you might sink it, lad, because of the hole you've put in it. Um, it's dry to touch, but looking at my test here on my uh, pizza box, there's still a little bit of glistening that's wet, and I did pack a lot in there. But yeah, she's coming along, guys. She is coming along, and I can't wait to see her go, because I reckon that is going to absolute... That I have quickly looked up these motors and they're putting them in boats that are um, you know one meter one meter long. That's what about just over it. Well, seventeen inches, a foot a foot and a half, or what have you. That is gonna fly. Um, my predictions: it's gonna go out fit first outing. It's gonna go out and it's gonna um, fly that quick. It's gonna hit something and sink. But anyway, we're having fun. We're having fun. That's uh, the update for today, and um, 
Next, I'm going to try and tidy this up really nicely and I'm going to um, just buy this coloured spray paint and go over it. I was going to get some um, nail polish, but I might as well just get the spray and do it proper. The next day, after the day, I've just briefly shown you. And here we have it. <laughs> I'm chuffed how that turns out. Obviously, I'm going to spray this, but how cool is that going to look? I think what I'm going to do in this area here, and I'll drill a hole here and put um, a magnet in each side, like the end bit here, so both magnetic top on. <laughs> there, are. a big boy, a fiberglass, that is, big boy, a fiberglass repair. I need to tidy up now. Hate mess, hate it! So, update number something, because I can't remember, because it's I'm doing these in stages, and I'm going to roll it all into one video, so you guys don't have to look for it. So, yes, I've made yet another um, order from Hobby King. This time, let's see what's in yonder. Yep. Right, they've put two boxes together by the looks of it. Yep. 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 There we are. And voila. Yeah. So let me just tip it all out here. Yeah. Yep. So fling that away. So first things first, some Velcro arm oh, gutted. What's going on here? Ah. <sighs> It appears I've only ordered the top of the Velcro. What am I going to do with just all that? So now I need to order the other bit. These are just the hook bits, the hooks. I don't know if I can get a close-up of there. Can you see? There's no, um, no fabric next to... Why did he do that? Right, anyway, what's this? Bunged in a flyer. There we are. Some, um, I got some blue tape. Um, I don't know why. I've I, I seen um, Miss Gecko's got blue writing, so I thought, oh, if I need to uh, sell it top down, it's like core, could, uh, it's kind of colour coordinated. So, yeah, got some of that. Uh, Y'all know what this is. I thought it would have come with some instructions because the ESC doesn't come with instructions, nor does this. But it's a programming card. Should I want to, um, you know, amend the values? Oh, I see. I, w I would imagine that's the ESC. That's the ESC port, and that's the um, that'd be from here to the receiver, so to, to get power to it. That's the only thing I can think of. So we've got that as well. And we've got some more tape now. Again, this is um, this is like a rubbery tape, so you can um, go round your uh, your lid, so when no water gets in. So again, quite cool. Uh, Where this? Uh, uh. Yeah, lock tight, baby. Don't want them um, screws from the uh, the prop shaft to fling out, do we? So yeah, I've got some Loctite. Pop that there, pop, pop like that. So, what have we got to now? I thought I'd have more than this. Now these are the main things. This is this is what I've been waiting for. Right, skill. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. Now that is exactly the same as this. So we'll just open up one. Open it up. Oh, look at that. Eh, come on, baby. There we are. Lipos! That's right. So I've got two of these bad boys. These feel quite cool, actually. In fact, this outer casing feels like the, um, you know, the shrink wrap that um, you, you, for these when you're soldering. These have to come off, obviously. What's this? Read manual before use. Um, who does that these days, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, that's... Oh, it's genuine Trinity! Right, I'll get I'll get my other battery to compare this to. If I can get it. Yeah. 
price. Here's the original nickel metal hydride. This is see that that's what I'm missing, guys. See that? That's what I'm missing from from this. I've just got the top bit, so I'll have to I'll have to order from there anyway <laughs> to get the top bit. An excuse in it. So yeah, um, that's that. So you can the the size. It's actually smaller. Actually smaller. So um. Well, it's smaller that way. We've got a little bit of lengthage here. But yeah, I definitely know this is going to fit in Miss Gecko. And obviously, this one's just another battery. We'll, we'll open it up anyway. I wonder if I can run this in a. Um, in a. series. Not series, parallel. Well, I can run this in series and get and because it can go go up to four S, but in parallel to um, get the longevity out of it. You know what I mean? So yeah, they look cool. Then hey, they, they might fit in. You know, they might do. We'll have to find out. I haven't got me boat up here because she's in the she's in the spraying department. I've bought some spray and guess what, guys? It's the perfect knock colour. It's um. I got fluorescent green because I can be. I, I done the most shittest way ever. I compared my boat to the screen of the uh, on the uh, to the color of the monitor on my laptop to try and get the uh, color scheme right. Now, when I compared it to fluorescent yellow, the boat looked more of a green color. When I compared it to to fluorescent green, it looked a perfect match. I've sprayed the lid and it looks totally different. But anyway, that's another video. Um, it might come after this, actually, you never know. But anyway, that's my little haul, guys. Um, some tape, um, tops of Velcro, and useless. Um, to the, 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 this is the main reason why I ordered it, by the way, was for these lipos. Because, um, you know, we got to go lipo, baby. And a programming card, because... Um, I want to want to try and do is uh, the start mode or the punch. I want to try and lower that down a little bit so it just doesn't go off its head. I want it to like um, gradually, uh, you know, increase the power slowly. So yeah, that that's my. I don't know how good this is, but um, there is a um, make. I forgot what. I'll actually. I'll, I've got it down here. Now I know this is a good make. Lock tight. Loctite, Loctite, um, but the make Loctite, uh, this is Boss, I've had this for over four years, so I'm wondering if this is any good, I mean, this was half the price of that, and like, the size, you know, the size is a, a lot different, so whether that's any good, I don't know, we'll, we'll just have to wait once it's um, popped onto appliances and whatnot, but I hope it's good, anyway... Next scene, boob! Right, I've just put my normal camera away and I've just been about, you know, tidying up stuff and what have you. So I've got my phone out. And look what fell out the box, guys, when I was tidying up. How cool is that? Like a little, uh, I, I didn't order this. This come free, but um, it's trendy. It looks like almost like, you know, a, a, a badge that goes on full-scale cars. That's cool, I like that. I really like that. I um, where am I going to put it? I might put it on my toolbox, actually. Yeah! Thanks. Thanks, eh, Hobby, Hobby King. Back in the shed, guys, checking up on my paint job. And, um, you know, um, I do go into detail when I do another one, but I don't know what stages this is going in, so you're more likely hit, hearing it again. But I bought a spray, thinking it was the same colour as Miss Gecko, because um, I thought it was flesh and green. Because when I compared that to the colour on my monitor screen, it looked pretty much the same. Fluorescent yellow was too yellow. So, um, yeah, this is what I got. Yeah, guys, this is what I got. And it is, um, is it fluorescent? Yeah, fluorescent green. And I thought, hang on a minute. This doesn't look right. Maybe if I put it on, it'd be better because um, this is transparent and I read up on it that it's quite transparent. So I gave me a um, me lid a bit of a um, prime and this is how it's turned out. Now, <laughs> I'm laughing, but you know, it's a bit annoying because I've spent quite a lot of time on this. 
and now it's turning into like some sort of fucking Hulk thing. But saying that though, the, the colours don't look that bad. I mean, I've got that tape, haven't I, as well? Maybe put some tape going around somewhere to differentiate the colour. I don't know, anyway. I don't even know why that's not sitting on properly. No, is it the cold? Could be due to the cold. Oh no, there we are. It's back on now. So yeah, what I'm going to do now, guys, um, is get me a... Get me lacquer and put a nice lacquer over this to finish and then that'll be it. She's done. The only thing we need to do then is take it out on the water. So guys, um, I'll uh, put the batteries in and then show you it all going. I'll even give it a little spin for you so we can see what we're um, you know, expected out of it. I have actually tested this in my bath with the big massive 2S battery. I've now got my little batteries and put it this way, on 2S, I nearly flooded my bathroom, so I've got high hopes for this baby right now. It's because, we all know, that's just pure fucking overkill, to be honest. <laughs> the, motor, the motors I've seen that are brushless in this sort of scale of boat are only that big. We got that big, that's right. Ain't no fucking about here on Bearded RC. It's a go, go and say and a go home. Anyway, um. I'll cut there and we'll I'll show you with the new batteries in. Right guys, we're in our top secret safety um, testing facility, also known as my bathroom, and we're gonna test Miss Gecko out. Um, obviously we can't do much in a bathtub, but we'll um, we'll we'll get a bit of water flowing. Right, so the transmitter is on. Oh she's ready. Pop the lid on. This is the first ever, guys, with the lid and all that on. So let's see how she sits in the water. She sits all right, to be fair. Let me uh, move the camera so y'all can see better. <clears throat> Here we go, guys. 2S power. Let's see Miss Gecko go. Them bits, by the way, is off a of, uh, bath bomb, so it's glitter. Right, here we go, guys. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Now that looks like power and you can actually see if I can hold the back. Watch the, um, I don't know if we can see it from there. Might do from this angle. Here is where the um, water comes out for the cool. I'm soaking myself, lads. <laughs> right, take two. <laughs> She's gonna rip Defo. The water, the cooling system's working fine. Um, let's, shall we give her one more blast? Right, go. There we have it, guys. Let's get it out on the um, actual water. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is only 2S. She can go up to 4, you know what I mean? <laughs> So guys, um, I'll put a link down up over here when um, she's actually uh, ready to go and watch her go for real. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little um, build slash modification um, series. So yeah, let's see you on the next one. Stubbing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. let's not break it now.